Kenny here with Gardening Simplified. It's October 3rd and we're going to take a look at the fig trees. Now we're not getting a whole lot of figs and of course this isn't a fig, this is a persimmon that's got ripe, but we, we're getting a few figs. Uh, we got to check them every day or every other day, keep the squirrels from getting any. And we're not getting a whole lot, but we've been making a little treat with these figs. They're just so good when you uh, take and dehydrate them. Now, these we'll, we'll just eat, but if we start getting a whole lot, we'll dehydrate them, then we'll freeze dry them for a little longer storage. This is one of the figs that I don't know what exactly variety it is. I've been waiting last year. I didn't get any of it. It's a, call it SFA. It's Dr. Creech from uh, Stephen F. Austin. Uh, sold these at the Arboretum sale. And I've got a cutting from a friend. But the fig is purple. And you can see how the leaves look. And if anybody out there that's a fig person can help identify it that that would be good and inside the fig this is what it looks like and we're going to sample it because we hadn't sampled one yet and it's kind of got a honey berry fig flavor mix oh um, that's what I would say it's nice sweet but it's a little extra water. We we got a pretty good bit of rain. We got a little bit, about a quarter inch yesterday, and then overnight we got another inch and a half. So it could be a little bit watery, which would affect the flavor. I'm sure it would be uh, fantastic if it was uh, dehydrated like some of the others. That's, those figs just taste so good once you get rid of all the moisture in them. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, pick the rest of these today and, and uh, see what we got. Okay, this is another of my unknown. Now, this is one I always call compost fig. And, uh, of course, it's got kind of five fingers, too. It's got a uh, uh, leaf kind of looks like that. The fig is kind of green or it'll change. Now, this one is just a little early. Uh, but you see it's got a nice red inside and it's got a, a strong berry flavor so if any of you know that one uh yes it's really it's really a good tasting fig and now this is the peter's honey and this this fig is uh a little small for Peter's honey, which all of them aren't, aren't that little. Uh, but this one has a really strong honey flavor when it's allowed to get good and ripe. You can see this is, uh, it could be a little bit longer, but it's, it's going to be uh, pretty good. And this is one that I recommend if you like a honey flavored fig because as you can see it is productive. Uh, if it had more even water and had the grass kept around away from it and uh, some more fertilizer, it would probably do a lot better. Now this is a LSU gold. This is the first year for for this one that I've had and we're going to sample it now. I'm not really going to say too much. I got a dog here that is, uh, it's a fig dog. She she eats these figs, but she won't eat them off the plant. We kind of watch her, and, but she'll come around for a piece. Now that's what it's like inside. Uh, nice and juicy. Let's see what it tastes like. Say it's sweet, maybe a little honey flavor, not real strong, but it is seem like a little extra water in it. Uh, but like I say, this is one that I've just 
uh, started growing this year and we we don't have any real big haul today but we we ha have picked a few uh, there's starting to get a few more ripe of course they're just here and there so uh, we'll just have to try to uh, process them as we get them I want to thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this little uh, short update on this now we're going to look at the roselle because I've been worried about it blooming and it's just now setting its bud so hopefully we'll have plenty of time to get us a nice uh, batch of calyxes for for some roselle tea this year but anyway i hope you found a little bit of entertainment value uh in this maybe you can help me out on some varieties if you're kind of knowledgeable on uh, different figs and of course uh, if you're not a subscriber you want to see more well hit that subscribe hit the bell and select all give her a big thumbs up and share this video enjoy that gardening experience